carbene chemistry i will discuss this in different parts and part one will be types and structure of carbons okay so this is one of the important reactive intermediate of carbon so in this video we will see what are the different types possible and also the detailed structure of carbons so what is carbene carbene is neutral that means there will be no positive or negative charge it is divalent there will be two bonds with an electron sex state that means surrounding carbon there will be total six electrons so that is why electron sex state and obviously this is highly reactive carbon intermediate so why i am saying it is electron sex state because surrounding carbon if you see the total number of carbons it will be six like this now these two electrons and these two total four that are actually the electrons of carbon and these two are the electrons that are coming from the groups r and r prime and now this r and r prime it may be hydrogen or it may be any alkyl group or any other groups also but the important thing is how many electrons are present surrounding carbon it is six electrons so that is why i am saying it is electron six state and divalent because there are two bonds uh, for carbon one is with r another one is with r prime and it is neutral there is no negative or positive charge fine now what is reactive intermediate when i am saying reactive intermediate actually it means that it is high energy but stable product that exists only in one of the intermediate state so reactive intermediate if we consider the general definition it is high energy but there is some kind of stability and it exists on only in one of the intermediate state so suppose you are forming uh, b from starting from a so in between a and b there will be some reactive intermediate and that is that may be carbene though this is not the only example of reactive intermediate there is some other intermediates possible and after generation as it is not very stable so it will convert into some more stable molecule so remember this is intermediate and it is not very stable so that is why we are saying it is reactive intermediate next here carbene it will have six electron sp2 structure that means surrounding carbon there will be total six electron and if you consider the hybridization of carbon it is actually sp2 hybridization that means one s and three p orbital together that will make total three sp2 orbital that means one of the p orbital which is not taking part in hybridization that will remain as pure p orbital fine and it has also a lone pair but there is no overall charge so that is why it is neutral most carbenes are very short lived that means their lifetime is lesser than one second but that doesn't mean that persistent carbenes are not existing they are also no fine although they are short of a full octet that means surrounding carbon there are not eight car electrons present only six electrons are present so that is why we are saying it is short of a full octet they also have a reactive lone pair so though there is not eight electrons surrounding carbons but remember there is reactive lone pair i'm talking about this lone pair and this one and depending on the structure of carbene i mean depending on the nature of the substituents r and r prime these carbenes they may be electrophilic in nature that means they are electron deficient they will search for some more electron rich region so they will try to attack some electron rich region fine they may be nucleophilic also that means because of this lone pair as if they will behave they are electron rich center or sometimes both okay so see how versatile it can be it can behave as electrophilic in nature it may be nucleophilic in nature or it may be sometimes both of them so here you can see some examples of carbenes methylene this is the simplest structure of carbene possible because both the groups are simple atom hydrogen then dichlorocarbene two chlorine atoms are present diamino carbene so two amino groups that are present nr2 nr2 both side diborocarbene br2 br2 both side and cyclic diamino carbene so this is just analog of this third type but as if this part is joint that is the only difference it is cyclic 
Now we will see what is the difference in structure with some other carbon intermediate because carbon is not the only reactive intermediate of carbon. There may be other reactive intermediate of carbon. So these three are very common carbocation, radical and carb anion. So here surrounding carbon, the red dots that you are seeing that are actually the electrons of carbon and the yellow dots that you are seeing that are coming from the other groups. This group may be H if it is very simple or it may be some other alkyl group or some other groups also. Now carbon, if you consider its valence electron, it is actually total 4 valence electron. Now out of these 4 valence electron, if there is an electron missing, it will be carbocation. So that is why there is a positive charge. If that is excess this, uh, except this 4 electron, if there is some extra electron, now it will be obviously negative carbonyl. And if it is having exactly 4 electron, now it is radical. So first look at the middle picture which is radical. Here you can see 4 electrons present in carbon. Now radical carbon reactive intermediate, it is also sp2 hybridized and 3 sp2 hybrid orbital that will contain 3 electron. It will bind, uh, sorry, it will form bond with some other groups. So here for simplicity, hydrogen is mentioned. And the fourth electron, fourth valence electron that will present in pure p orbital. So this is pure p orbital. Why I am saying it is pure? Because it is not taking part in hybridization. It is unhybridized pure p orbital. Fine. So this is radical. There is no positive or negative charge. Now come to the left hand side picture. This is carbocation. Now out of this fourth valence electron, you can see only three red dots are there. That means only three electrons are present surrounding carbon. This is also sp2 hybridized. So 3 sp2 hybrid orbital will be used for bond formation with 3 hydrogens. And these yellow dots are coming, electrons are coming from hydrogen. But this pure p orbital which is not taking part in hybridization, it is actually vacant, empty. Because we have only 3 electrons, it is carbocation, 1 electron is less. And if you look at the right hand side, that is card anion. Now one electron is extra. So you can see total five red dots. So one electron extra as if four valence electron plus one. So this is now sp3 hybridized. Now sp3 hybridized means there will be total four sp3 hybridized orbital. And among these four, three will be used for bond formation with R groups or it may be in hydrogen or other groups. And the fourth electron that will remain in uh, not I shouldn't say fourth electron I mean the extra two electrons that will remain in the fourth sp3 hybrid orbital. So these three are the possibilities the middle one is neutral left one is electron deficient right one is excess elect uh, one extra electron and if you look at carbene now this is another possibility. So when it is carbene two types are possible singlet carbene triplet carbene. Now why we have these two possibility that you will understand that uh, depends on the arrangement of the electron. So here also it is sp2 hybridized. Both are sp2 hybridized. And sp2 hybridized means there will be total 3 sp2. So look at the left hand side singlet carbene. Carbon is using is its 2 sp2 for bond formation with hydrogen or any other R group. And the third sp2 that is containing this extra 2 electrons. Because carbon there will be total 4 valence electron. So two electrons are used for bond formation with hydrogen and rest of the two that is present in sp2 hybridized orbital. And this pure p orbital that you are seeing here that is actually unhybridized. There is no electron present. So this is one structure of carbene that is possible and we call it singlet carbene. Now come to the other side. Another possibility is triplet carbene where this out of these four electrons, two electrons again used up for bond formation with hydrogen or any other R groups. Now this is common with singlet carbene. But the difference is, now the excess two electrons that are present, one in sp2 hybrid orbital, another one is present in pure p orbital which is unhybridized p orbital. So that is the difference with singlet carbene. Okay, in singlet carbene both the electrons are present in sp2 but now one electron in pure p orbital unhybridized another electron in sp2. Now we will deep dive into the structure of singlet and triplet carbene. So see here 
Now we have R group because it is not necessary, it has to be hydrogen. One is empty p orbital, which is unhybridized p orbital, not part of hybridization. And the two electron, that is out of four valence electron, two electrons already used up for bond formation with R. And the excess two electron that will remain as lone pair in sp2. And this is singlet. So here two electrons are present or placed in the same orbital. Fine. So see two sigma, one is with R, another one is also with R. Then another that is a third sp2 hybrid orbital containing the two electrons and p that is vacant what about triplet now here it is mentioned bent bent means another possibility for triplet is also there that you have not seen in the previous slide but now you will see it but before that try to understand what is the difference with singlet here the two electrons one is in p orbital which is unhybridized another electron it is in sp2 hybrid orbital here also the hybridization is sp2. Now look at this. 2 sigma that is bond formation with these two R groups. Then the third electron that is present in sp2. The fourth electron that is in empty unhybridized p orbital. So here the two electrons are placed in different orbitals. And obviously parallel spin will be preferred according to Hund's rule. Now we will understand from this picture why there are it is mentioned in the bracket it is bent because another possibility is linear though remember it is very rare case triplet may be two types bent and trillier so in this case the rcr bond angle if you consider it is not 180 degree but in this case it is 180 degree so what is the difference now the hybridization is sp now when it is sp hybridization that means there will be total two sp one sp is utilized for sigma bond formation with r another sp is used for sigma bond formation with the second r and the other two electrons that will remain in two pure p orbitals because now it is sp hybridization that means out of three sp orbital only one p is involved in hybridization rest of the two p not involved in hybridization they are pure p orbitals so suppose if px is involved this is py this is pz so p1 and pz both are containing one one electron right so this is another possibility but remember the linear structure is actually extreme case and nearly all structurally characterized carbons are bent geometry but still though it is rare you should know that it is also uh, it, this type of uh, triplet linear triplet at its formation is also possible and here uh, we are calling it linear because RCR this bond angle is 180 degree. So I hope that now you have some idea about the that is initial idea about the carbene structure and what are its types, what is the difference in hybridization. So in next video I will come with some more information about carbene chemistry. Okay, until then good. Thank you for your time.